Minecraft clients, as we know it, have had to turn from bad to cool. And then there are a few that have impressed me. Some in a good way, some in a meh kind of way. <laughs> so with that, we move on to the third place. Onyx Client, the best created client out in the market for Bedrock. I'm kind of bummed by the fact that I can only use it in one place, but nowhere else. But I'm not here to be controversial. Onyx to me will always go down in history as the client that made me jealous of everyone because of the fact that it was only available for PC users. Now I know you Java mains and or fanboys and fangirls may expect this to only be for Java edition and might be cheering, but prepare to be disappointed as this was made for the Bedrock platform. And because of that, you may be wondering, Mimi, this is a Bedrock client. Why do you hold such a grudge against it? So about that, remember how I said it was only available for PC? Well, does this look like a full on PC to you? And that little chance that I mentioned on whenever I do get to play with it is on a PC that needs a new nick card. So either way, my gameplay is not really fluid. But enough derailing, you're here to see what I can do. Basically, you can actually make the UI how you want it with the, the keystrokes, you can have a custom clock, frame rate counter, and more. Heck, it even installs Optifine for you so that you too can experience how a Java Edition plays. Wait, you actually bought that Optifine crap? <laughs> I'm of course joking, but in all seriousness though, you can actually map a key to zoom in. But it's kind of weird though. As the sensitivity gets turned way down when zooming in, and even adjusting the slider really did nothing for me whatsoever. So it comes down to this. The game does in fact run a bit more smoothly, Render Dragon or not, but the fact that there is no bottom chat option, and the fact that it's only available for PC, and the fact that I need another client and or resource pack, which I will get into later, makes my gameplay feel more complete, and it begs the answer to the question. Is this a good client to use in my opinion? Partially. Ow. Enough of that under nonsense, let's get to one of my better known clients. So we're moving on to the Java edition of Minecraft. The slow combat, the 25 FPS, the... Well, one I'm not so used to, to be honest. But aside from that, we need to get the launcher started. I found this one to be a little bit handshaking. Upon launching the 1.8.9 version of the game, it just crashes. Okay then, well, not, not to panic, because I have two other versions to try it for this, uh, for this client. So let me try the uh, 1.16 version. And bingo was his name Oh, we have life! And I'm immediately disgusted with my non-HD head there. But s seeing that dumb limitation aside, I go into add-ons and the icons turn black. And to make matters worse, Flip a tab, and so does the text! Now, I'm not a coder, but I feel like it might not... Like... Pojav launcher too much? So... I I don't think there are any other ways around this. Either, either restart the game, or just use another version. So I'm just gonna use the uh, 1.12.2 version. And this version actually has no flaws. Other than links not opening to the browsers, but... To be fair, I think that's a launcher, because... Whenever I launch links in uh, the regular 1.12, the same thing happens. But once again, same with Onyx, custom overlay, more, but more options, and the ability to set custom keystrokes like I did with my controller amongst other things. Is this a good client to use in my opinion? For, for people who like PvP and use a PC? Yes. For those who don't own a PC and, like me, use Pojav Launcher on their phones, then partially. I told you this was a very in the middle client, but coming back to please the vast majority of the Bedrock players, we have the best save for last. So you may be thinking that this is a client that's only for PC, just like Onyx. Nope! Or you may think that you'll need to hack, root, or jailbreak your device. You don't even need to do that! This client with a working mod menu is actually a resource pack! One of the cheapest ever drives that you can still get operates just fine without any 
assistance from us? How can this be? Okay, what's the catch? Well, there's actually one caveat to this pack. Well, a few limitations as well. And they're a bit of a pain. You see, this mod menu works by double clicking or double tapping on a button in the pause menu. With this in mind, using a controller won't work to open the menu as you'll need either a mouse or to touch your device. But once you got the dad blasted thing open and set your settings, you may end up accidentally opening the menu again, seeing as the button's still on the screen, and you cannot get out of it until you use your mouse or touch. And also, if you quit the world or server you're in, or you load into another one, your options won't save. So that basically means you have to keep entering your settings every time, right? Well, thanks to the separate config pack, you can save your settings by editing the values in the JSON. But be careful, as that issue that I mentioned earlier can come back to haunt you. But that doesn't mean you won't be able to enjoy your gameplay. Matter of fact, I actually like having an RGB HD crosshair. Is this a good client to use in my opinion? Absolutely. Well, this was a f this was a fun video to look at. My three favorite clients to play with with being some of the weird ones, some being the best, and all in between. That's going to be it for today. If you want to see more like this and you haven't done so yet already, do make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Also, make sure to let me know in the comments what I should do next on the channel. That being said, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.